Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. If you're in the 3D printing or just getting started, you know how important it is to find a filament that prints clean, consistent, and doesn't break the bank. Today, I'm sharing my top five PLA filament brands that I actually use and trust. These are the ones that give me reliable results, great color, and minimal headaches. Let's jump in. First on the list is Duramic. This brand might not be the flashiest, but it's honestly some of the best filament on the market. I've been using their PLA for a while now, and it's respectable stuff. Prints clean, layers go down smooth, and it just works. What really stands out is the print consistency. You're getting tight tolerances, which means less drama during prints and way better reliability for functional parts. The spools come perfectly wound, no tangles, no weird feeding issues. Plus, the vacuum packaging is solid, keeps moisture out, and I've never had to worry about brittleness straight from the box. And the finish, super smooth. That slightly satin sheen really makes models look crisp straight off the bed. My only gripe, the cardboard spools. I get why they use them, they're recyclable, but I usually just pop the filament off and transfer it to a reusable spool. No big deal, but something to keep in mind. Overall, Duramic PLA earns its spot on this list. It's affordable, dependable, and just does what it's supposed to do. If you've been in the 3D printing game for more than five minutes, you probably heard of this one. Esun's PLA is one of those tried and true filaments that pretty much everyone has used at some point and for good reason. It's reliable, accessible, and the print quality is consistently good, especially for the price. I use Esun when I want a filament that just works. It's got a slightly tougher, less brittle feel than standard PLA, so it's great for everyday prints that need to take a bit more wear. Think cosplay parts, tool holders, or anything you'll be handling a lot. It's also compatible with high-speed printing. I've run eSun on faster profiles and it holds up great. Good layer adhesion, minimal stringing, and no weird clogs or meltdowns. Now, it does come on a cardboard spool, but honestly, that's not a deal breaker for me. I've printed some cardboard spool adapters that work just fine in my AMS. And if you prefer, you can always re-spool it onto a reusable spool. It takes a little extra time, but it's totally worth it if you want smoother feeding or a cleaner setup. And the best part, you can find eSun at Amazon in an array of colors for convenient two-day shipping. Coming in at number three is Inland. Yeah, the one from Micro Center. And listen, I know it's a store brand, but don't sleep on it. Inland PLA and PLA Plus are both surprisingly solid. It's one of the first filaments I ever printed with, and to this day, I still keep a few spools on hand. Why? Because it's budget-friendly and it works. Their PLA prints come out clean without a lot of tuning, and I've been loving the chocolate brown color lately. It's rich, smooth, and gives a great finish, especially on models with a lot of surface detail. And honestly, it's a lifesaver when you need filament last minute. If you've got a micro center nearby, you can just run in and grab exactly what you need. From PLA and PLA Plus to PETG, ABS, and more in a pretty wide range of colors. Inland typically runs around $17 to $23 for a 1kg spool. Inland may not be the flashiest name in the filament game, but it gets the job done. It's affordable, it's reliable, and if you've got a micro center nearby like I do, it's hard to beat the convenience. At number four, we've got Polymaker specifically their Polylite PLA. This isn't the filament you want to rush. It really does best at slower speeds, about 40 to 60 millimeters per second. But when you take your time, the results are absolutely worth it. The surface quality is clean and consistent with that smooth satin finish that makes prints look polished even without post-processing. Polymaker nails dimensional accuracy and color consistency. Whether I'm printing mechanical parts or aesthetic models, I know exactly what I'm gonna get. No surprises. Honestly, Polylite feels like cheating sometimes. I've got one profile for it and it just works. I never have to fight with settings or retune anything. It's just reliable. This filament is clearly made with print farms and production environments in mind. 
If you need repeatable results, whether it's one print or a hundred, this is the kind of consistency you're looking for. Yeah, it's the most expensive filament on my list, usually around $26 to $30 per kilogram. But if you care about quality and repeatability, Polymaker delivers. And finally, Bamboo PLA Basic. If you got a bamboo printer, this filament is kind of a no-brainer. It's made to work seamlessly with their ecosystem and it shows. The spools come with a built-in smart chip, so your printer automatically detects the filament type, color, and how much is left. It's plug and play at its best, no fiddling with settings or profiles. The PLA Basic prints clean, handles high-speed printing like a pro, and produces consistently smooth results. You get great adhesion and a nice matte finish that looks sharp, especially on functional or display pieces. The color lineup is focused, but every option I've used has been vibrant and consistent, perfect for everyday use or batch projects. I also like that Bamboo uses a reusable spool system. You can buy refills without the outer spool, snap them into your existing reusable spool, and save a few bucks. It's cleaner, more sustainable, and more cost-effective. And here's the real win. You don't always have to wait for shipping. Bamboo filament is now available at Best Buy, and in a lot of areas, you can get it with next day or even same day pickup. So if you're in the middle of a project and run out, you don't have to pause everything for delivery. That kind of convenience is a game changer. Bamboo's filament isn't the cheapest, but when you factor in the convenience, speed compatibility, and refill option, it's a solid value, especially if you're already deep into the bamboo ecosystem. All right, before we wrap this up, I've got to give a shout out to one of my favorite honorable mentions, Cookie Cad Filament. This filament is seriously fun to work with. The color selection is wild in the best way. We're talking bubblegum pink, banana cream, mint chip, and more. They've got colors and effects you just won't find anywhere else. It's premium filament and you can feel it in the quality. It prints smooth, the finish is clean, and I've never had issues dialing it in. It just works and it looks amazing doing it. Now, it's definitely in the premium category. Most of their 1kg fancy pants filaments go for around $35 a spool. But honestly, I've always been impressed. The quality is top notch and the color variety is completely unique. And here's the thing, if you use it specifically for highlights or accent parts to help your print stand out, then a little bit really goes a long way. You don't need to print full models in it to get that pop. It may not be my everyday go-to, but when I want something eye-catching, Cookie Cad delivers every single time. So that's my list. Five go-to PLA brands I actually use, plus one sweet honorable mention. Whether you're printing for fun, function, or just to flex those printer settings, there's something in here for everyone. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite filament brand? Did I miss one that you swear by? If this video helped you out or gave you something new to try, hit that like button. Subscribe for more 3D printing content and tap the bell so you don't miss what's next. Until next time, keep printing, keep experimenting, and as always, make something awesome.